What is Layer 2 and Layer 3 in networking? Hello everyone! Today, we're going to dive deep into the world of networking, specifically focusing on Layer 2 and Layer 3. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what these layers are and how they play pivotal roles in data communication. What is Layer 2? Layer 2, also known as the Data Link Layer, deals with the physical connection between devices on a local network. Its primary functions are MAC addressing. Every device on a network has a unique media access control MAC, address. Layer 2 uses these MAC addresses to ensure data reaches the correct device. Error checking. Before sending data, Layer 2 adds information to check if the data was received correctly. Switching. Switches operate at this layer to direct data packets between devices based on their MAC addresses. What is Layer 3? Layer 3 is known as the Network Layer. It's more concerned with data routing across different networks, rather than just within a local network. Its main functions include IP addressing. Devices on a network have an IP address. While Layer 2 focuses on MAC addresses, Layer 3 uses IP addresses to determine the source and destination of data packets. Routing. Routers operate at Layer 3. They examine the destination IP address of a packet and decide the best path for it to reach its destination. Subnetting and segmentation. This is where networks can be divided into smaller subnetworks for better performance and security. How do they work together? Interplay between Layer 2 and Layer 3 is crucial for data to travel smoothly. When you send data from your computer, 1. The Data Link Layer, Layer 2, first ensures the data is directed to the right device in your local network using its MAC address. 2. If the data needs to travel outside your local network, the Network Layer, Layer 3, takes over, using IP addresses to route the data to its ultimate destination. For instance, when you send an email, Layer 2 might handle the data's journey through your home network, while Layer 3 would route it through the broader internet to your recipient. In wrapping up, Layer 2 and Layer 3 are fundamental building blocks of networking. They ensure that our data finds its way, whether it's within our local network or across the vast expanse of the internet. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope this explanation has shed light on these integral networking concepts.